Good morning, fourth graders. Today our math lesson is on identifying a line of symmetry in a shape. A line of symmetry exists if you can fold a given shape exactly in half and one half exactly matches the other half. For example, if I were to draw a line down the center, I have to get this going here, of this shape, and one half exactly matched the other when I folded it across that line. So if this was the half and I folded it over, if it exactly matched, I would have a line of symmetry and this would be that line of symmetry. If you noticed, doing this with my finger, I missed the mark because up here, I'm not exactly in the center. So my line of symmetry is not correct and I'd need to mark it incorrect. So I'm going to try again. That's the beauty of using notability and I'm going to try to make my line a little bit more. I still missed it. There we go, a little bit closer to the middle. If I'm exactly in the middle, I've created a line of symmetry. And again, I've missed it a little bit. But the idea is if you can get it where one half exactly folds over the other half and they're exactly the same, that is a line of symmetry. Let me give you a, a few examples that are even less close. Okay, you erase what I have here. If I were to draw a line here, here, would one half fold over and exactly match the other half? No, that one's more obvious. What if I tried to do it this way? When I draw that, is that a line of symmetry? If I fold this half up and over the other, have I covered it completely? No. This part is not equal to this part, and the point would stick out on the end. So I have not drawn a line of symmetry. Some shapes have only one line of symmetry, and some shapes have many lines of symmetry. We're going to take a look up here. Okay, let's look first here at the letter A. Does the letter A have a line of symmetry? Yes or no? Yes, it does. It would be exactly down the center of the A. Okay, does it have more than one line of symmetry? No, it doesn't. Because anywhere else that we try to draw the line, when we fold it, one side does not exactly cover the other side. What about the smiley face? Is there a line of symmetry in the smiley face? Well, yes, there is, but it is only in one spot, directly down the middle. Why is this not a line of symmetry? Why is that not? And if you said, because when you fold it over the smile and the eyes don't match, you are correct. Because when we fold it over from there, it's got crooked eyes. <laughs> All right, let's try another one. What about the heart? And if you said, yes, it has only one line of symmetry, again, you are correct. And it's right down the middle of the heart. Because when I do the line there, and I cut it out and fold it in half, one side crosses over and exactly covers the other side. If I were to try to do a line of symmetry here, whoops, let's try here. 
Does that create a line of symmetry? And again, that's no, because if I cut it out and I fold that part over, it doesn't match. The humps on the heart do not match the point on the heart. How about the H? Is there a line of symmetry? And if there is, where is it? If you said there's one down the middle, you are correct. Mine's crooked, sorry. And if you said there's another one exactly sideways, you are correct. And again, I'm off a little bit. It's hard to do this with your finger. The ones that would not be correct would be if you tried to do it diagonally or even in any other area. Those would not be correct because when you fold it, one half does not completely match the other half. So this is showing symmetry, but the line of symmetry is specifically the line that you draw or trace or fold that creates the symmetry in the object where one side completely matches the other side. What about the star? How many lines of symmetry might you find in a star? Well, if you said that a line of symmetry goes from the top point through the bottom, and again, mine is in the wrong spot. I'm going to try it again. That's closer. That would be a line of symmetry, but guess what? There's more. Where is another line of symmetry? On a five-pointed star, there's a line of symmetry between every point and the bottom of the other side. So every single point creates a line of symmetry. Okay, so if there's five points, there will be five lines of symmetry. What about the hand? If you said there was a line of symmetry down the middle, would that be right? Why not? Okay, when you fold over the side with the thumb, it is not going to match the side with the pinky finger. It just is not a line of symmetry. There is nowhere on a hand that you can draw a line of symmetry where one half completely folds over the other half to match perfectly. So there are zero lines of symmetry in a hand. What about a butterfly? If you said there was a line of symmetry exactly down the middle between the wings, you were right. Because one folds exactly over the other and matches. None of the other possible ways to draw a line create symmetry. None. So the line of symmetry is the actual line that creates the fold where everything lines up perfectly. How about the crawdad? Unless it's a lobster. You are right. There's one line of symmetry, and it's exactly down the middle horizontally. Now I'm going to ask, why is it not this way, like so many of the other ones. Why is that not a line of symmetry? If you said because the tail doesn't match up with the claws, you are right. How about the arrow? Is there a line of symmetry? Well, you might have said there's a line of symmetry like this, but guess what? A curved line is not 
a line of symmetry. And so we're going to take that out of there because that is not it. There is not a line of symmetry in this arrow because even though when you draw the line here and you fold it diagonally over itself, the tail of the arrow might match the front part of it, but it does not have, the tail does not have an arrow, and so it will not match exactly. Again, it has to match exactly. Okay, and so let's look at the car. Where's the line of symmetry in a car? Well, you might have said right down the middle, but when you fold this, as similar as the front and the back of a car are, does the front exactly cover the back? Or does the back exactly cover the front? And no, it does not. Typically, in most cars, the nose, the front of the car, is longer than the back. Also, the driver's window and front passenger window is usually longer than the rear seat window. And often the bumpers are different. So it is not symmetrical in this view, okay? If you saw the car from the top view or from the bottom view, it might well be symmetrical. But from the side view, it is not. Now let's take a look at figure one. Figure one is drawn on graph paper with a dotted line for the line of symmetry. And in this, you are being asked to actually draw the other half of this symmetrical shape. So if this second half has to be exactly the same as the first half, you're going to need to count the graph paper lines here. So from the line of symmetry to the top edge, we have one, two, three, four squares. So we're going to have to come down one, two, three, four squares and do the same thing on the other side and then connect it across the bottom in order to have our symmetrical shape. Much easier to do this on paper and pencil with a ruler, but with um, my finger, it's about as close as we can get, okay? So we have created the other half of the shape beyond the line of symmetry so that when it folds over, it is exactly matching corner to corner, okay? Let's look at figure two. In figure two, we have one half of a symmetrical shape. And we have the dotted line again to show where the line of symmetry is. So because it is on graph paper, we can extend the lines on the second side. At the top, you'll see there's two squares. So I'm going to go two lines on the top on the opposite side of the line. On the bottom, we have four lines, four squares and I'm gonna go four spaces. And that's pretty crooked, so I'm gonna try that again. Okay, and that's what you would do with your eraser. All right, now if I had a straight edge, this last part would be so much nicer, but I'm going to connect, and a straight edge could be any straight thing. It can be a ruler, it could be the side of a book, it could be a folded piece of paper to provide you with a straight edge. So I'm going to try to connect the top one to the bottom one to, to create as straight a line as I possibly can. And if I hold it, it straightens out a little bit. So there we have a four-sided trapezoid with a line of symmetry down the middle. Now it's your turn to go to your problem set and complete the questions. If you can find a piece of paper that you can fold in half to be a straight edge 
and run your pencil down the side of that, you'll have much straighter lines. If you're close, super close like mine, go ahead and leave them. If you're way off, then feel free to erase them. That's the beauty of an eraser. Okay, enjoy. This was your math lesson for today. And we'll see you at our next Zoom meeting. Bye.